Hey guys, this is Rupesh and this is Akshay from bbomb.com and I know it's been a while since we shared what apps we use on our phones so today we're going to share some cool apps that we use on our phones. Now I think it's pretty clear but let me repeat it that we're not talking about popular apps here. Facebook? Also make sure to watch the full video and comment down below whose apps you liked more. Now let's begin, I think I'm gonna go first. So I have five apps that I want to share with you guys. The first is a very simple but very dynamic wallpaper app called Diffuse. Now this app takes inspiration from Apple Music's live lyrics dynamic background feature and I think it looks great. See Diffuse brings a very abstract fluid like live wallpaper based on the current track that's playing on my phone. As you can see every time I change the song on YouTube Music, the wallpaper changes depending on the colors of the album art. It's cool right? But what I love even more is the fact that these animations in the wallpaper are based on the beats. So when there's a bass drop, it looks awesome. Diffuse is available for free, but the automatic music sync feature only works in the paid version that costs 180 rupees. All right, so it's my turn now. First off, I want to tell you about Watchsmith, which is an app that brings insane customizability to the Apple Watch. See, most of the time, I don't need all the widgets on my Apple Watch to show me things like my events, activity rings, etc. With Watchsmith, I can create custom widgets that keep changing based on the time of the day. So I have set my watch to show me my activity rings only in the evening and the sunrise time around bedtime. The rest of the day, I get a date showing up on the complication instead. I can make custom complications for all sorts of use cases here and use them in my watch faces. This is much better than swiping through different watch faces throughout the day to keep a track of important information from every widget out there. Watchsmith is free to download and use, but you can subscribe to get access to even more data types for your custom widgets if you want. Okay, so coming to my second app, it's MyGate, which I think is a fantastic app. So MyGate is an app that every gated community needs. I mean, most societies and gated colonies have old security guards with a register and a pen, and one mistake from them could result in something wrong. Now that's where MyGate comes in. For example, I live in a gated society and MyGate is set up here, and that means everything's safe, secure, and convenient as well. With my gate, I notifications every time someone wants to come to my house and I can either approve or deny their entry from the app. This way nobody and absolutely nobody can enter the society without approval or a passcode, be it housemates, driver, milkman, newspaper wallet, delivery guy or even your guests. The app also tells me when they have left. As you can see, my house helpers have left the society and my gate shows me the exact time they left. Plus, I can also pre-approve deliveries from you know food ordering apps as well as couriers so I don't have to take calls on the intercom every single time there's a delivery for me. This is great and as you can see, I can allow a delivery guy once or frequently and also choose from the different delivery companies. There's also a kids checkout feature which makes sure kids cannot exit the gate without the parent's permission. Now another handy feature is the local services option where I can get in touch with say a driver or a milkman or a dog walker and also see the ratings from other people living in the society. Apart from that, MyGate makes sure your gated community is safe and secure. It has COVID related features. It shows you the health meter of the people and you can also mark houses that are under quarantine. That's not all the app also lets you pay maintenance bills. There's a help desk to raise complaints. There's a notice board, amenities booking and there's communications where you can start a topic to discuss, take a poll, etc. So MyGate is great and I think it's a must have for all gated societies. I mean, MyGate is set up in 15,000 societies in India. And if you live in a gated society, I think you should get it set up. Hey, my gate is actually cool, man. Anyway, the next app on my list is actually a game. See, ever since PUBG got banned, I've been looking for some fun shooter games to play on my phone. And while I stuck with Brawl Stars for a while, Tactical is one of my favorite games on the iPhone these days. This is a top-down shooter game that's a lot of fun. Plus, the controls are really simple and you don't have to do a lot here. All you gotta do is move around, aim at your enemies and make sure you don't die by strafing or sliding. I also like that I can unlock new weapons, add attachments to make them better and more. I can also improve my player stats to give myself an edge. I usually play this game during short breaks between work and it's a great time killer. Plus it's free and I think you should check it out for sure. Okay, next app on my list is Friendspire which helps me in my constant quest of trying to figure out what I want to watch. So I use this app a lot and here's how I use it. Say I want to watch a comedy movie so I can just go to the app, select comedy and then select the streaming apps that I have. As you can see, there's almost every popular app listed here. Anyway, once I've selected, Friendspire shows me all the highly rated comedy movies on all of these streaming platforms, which is great because it saves me from the hassle of searching for comedy movies in every single platform separately. I can also check out the IMD ratings, the ratings on the app, so it's very useful. Now, I use this for movies or TV shows, but you can use it to find books, podcasts, and even food. 
it's free so i think you should try it anyway coming back to me drafts is one of my favorite writing apps i'm using it constantly because of all the amazing features it offers look with drafts i can quickly start writing on my iphone ipad or my macbook plus i can move between my devices thanks to features like handoff so a lot of times i get a writing idea when i'm not near my laptop and i can start writing on my ipad then i can launch drafts on my mac and open the same draft on my laptop and continue working on my desk it's all very seamless and even though the app has more features i personally use this for the handoff and note sync because it works perfectly also it's free to download and use which is great but you can pay to unlock advanced features such as workspaces and more next app on my list is subscriptions uh, which by the way reminds me subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get you know notified every time we post an awesome new video <laughs> now coming back to subscriptions i think it's a great app and i think it's pretty self explanatory but let me explain see i subscribe to a lot of streaming services as well as apps from the play store so i'm sure you can relate to this keeping track of all of them can be really tough now this is where this app is great it's a very simple and clean and nice looking app where i've just added all the things i've subscribed to So it shows me my monthly expenses, due date for payments like my mobile bill. So this way I can keep track of everything. I mean there have been times in the past when I've subscribed to a pro version of an app and forgotten about it and then you know it keeps deducting money from my account when I'm already so garib. So subscriptions is kind of perfect because it's also free. Hey you might not remember your subscriptions but I remember everything. For example, remember the iPhone 11 launch when Apple showed how iPhone users can use multiple cameras to record videos at the same time? Well, Double Take is an app that brings a similar feature to iPhone. With this app, I can record videos from two cameras on my iPhone. For example, you can use the front cam and the rear cam at the same time, or if you have an iPhone with multiple rear cameras, you can use the main cam and say the ultra wide angle lens. Now, I use this app quite a bit when we went to the Auto Expo because it let me record both the cars and myself, you know, kind of like a vlog. It's great for that. I can view the two videos in multiple arrangements as well, so I can choose picture-in-picture, picture, discrete videos, or split screen to see both the viewfinders. It's quite nice, and do note that the feature is only available on iPhone XR and later. So if you have a relatively newer iPhone, you should check it out. Okay, so this is my last app, and I think it deserves a drum roll. Signal Messenger. Now I'll be honest, I haven't uninstalled WhatsApp, but I have installed Signal, and I've been using both of them separately. See I use WhatsApp for my casual conversations and Signal for any important chats that I have. And I think you should do this too because uninstalling WhatsApp is kind of not practical for everyone at least right now when majority of our contacts are still on WhatsApp. But you can use Signal to talk to people from say banks or you know lawyers, CA etc. Basically any conversation where you need to share private sensitive info, you should do it on Signal because it's super secure and it has features like 50 day chat delete and there's disappearing messages. See if you can uninstall WhatsApp I think that's the best thing but if you can't do that this is the best way to at least make sure that your important chats your sensitive data is secure. Well those were the apps that we are using on our phones but we want to know if you guys are using any cool apps on your phones that you think everyone should know of so comment down below. Also regardless of the whole iPhone and Android debate I really want to know which apps you like more mine or Rupesh's. Or most seriously just tell us whose apps you like more. Also I think this video deserves a like because I mean I had to shoot with this idiot but yeah so like this video subscribe to our channel for more videos featuring me and we will see you in the next one I'm going to sign